everyone and welcome to the third and final pack with me vlog for our half world cruise sailing from New Zealand all the way back to the UK. We are getting legally married on board. It's our honeymoon, my 30th birthday. This is a pretty special trip that we have spent two years in the making planning and prepping for and a lot of you know if you come to my channel frequently that I love packing a lot. This is definitely not my normal packing although we all know I'm a bit of an over packer and if you don't and you're new hi I'm Brogan I make travel home and lifestyle vlogs and I would love it if you subscribed you do not want to miss the vlogs coming up we're going to be showing you everything we get up to what it's like to travel long haul to New Zealand spend a week there and then embarking on Arcadia for p and cruises and sailing for that long and going to loads of different destinations and if you haven't seen it I've actually made a couple of videos talking about the trip itself a Q&A for our wedding day and in part one of the packing video I showed you the suitcase I sent on board in part two I showed you my hand luggage and here today part three we're gonna be doing everything else this video is also very kindly sponsored by wild deodorant but more on them in a bit I've got a great discount code for you I'll talk to you more about toiletries beauty we're gonna go through all the different categories tech we've got clothes shoes bags it's all laid out here something that's cropped up this week that I need to update you on is that we've had a route change the itinerary has had to change if you don't know already it's kind currently not safe to go via the Suez Canal and Carnival, the own p and Cruises, have changed 12 routes I think and ships right through to May 2024 and that includes ours so we're doing the world cruise but we're doing half of it just over half so it's a hundred day cruise it left at the beginning of January we're joining on day 40 and we're spending 60 days on board and we were originally meant to go through the Middle East and Europe we're diverting off from Malaysia across to Mauritius down to South Africa and doing a few days there and then all the way up to the Canary Islands to do Tenerife and then back to the UK. I've not had to change my packing too much because I was just going to have some extra layers for Europe because I thought April in Malta and Spain would have been a bit chillier but mostly the packing hasn't been tweaked so that's the update for you and any further updates and if you want to follow along with our trip we will be uploading in real time as much as possible over on Instagram so you can come follow me I'm at Brogan Tate XO but we are also going to try and upload when we can as we go which may be completely impossible but I'm going to do my very best that's the updates for you <laughs> if you are new I am going to premise this by saying that you're going to see a lot of stuff sometimes people say to me that they travel around Asia with just a backpack and that's absolutely fine and I'm sure if I was put in that situation I could probably do it but I choose not to do that like I'm choosing to travel the world in a way that allows me to bring my luxuries I've done this on purpose so of course I'm going to bring the things I want because that's the choice I made. So a cruise holiday obviously has things like black tie and evenings. We've got fancy dresses and heels and that's part of the holiday and experience. It might look a lot but I don't really care because as long as it fits in our luggage allowance and I can store it all in our cabin then the only person that needs to worry about it is me and maybe Ben if he has to push with a suitcase. Speaking of luggage allowance we are traveling with Emirates business class but I'm very excited and we will be filming that and going business class means that we both get 40 kilograms of luggage allowance so I'm going to take two suitcases one medium and one large from away suitcases so I'm going to pull them out and show you in a minute I basically am going to work out that I can't max 40 so if one case is 20 and the other is 20 fine we'll just do the maths if one is more or less it just means to make sure it's max 40. Obviously Benji will have the same amount and he does not need as much stuff. So when you look at all my stuff, it looks a lot in terms of, I've got two beach towels, I've got all of the first aid kit, I've got all the games, I've got all the wedding stuff, all the camera equipment. We'll make sure that we swap things so that they are distributed across mine and Benji suitcases. Over the last two weeks, I have actually been filming a few vlog clips to show you how I got to this point. I haven't gone into every single item, but I've shown you the gist of things and how I've organized each category. So before I flash you back and show you how the last two weeks has been and then we'll go into everything and how I'm gonna put it in the case, I want to talk to you quickly about Wild Deodorant because some of you know that I absolutely love them. I've been using them for almost four years and there are loads of reasons why I love Wild, mostly because it genuinely works and is one of the only beauty products I actually use every single day. So of course I'm packing it. I even have the small mini travel size one in my hand luggage ready to go 
and if you watch the first pack with me you know I already packed some extra refills I love it that much world is great because they have deodorant and body washes that contain no single-use plastic and come in premium reusable cases with compostable refills they're powered by plants which means no aluminium salts parabens or sulfates and all their formulas are certified vegan and cruelty free which we love back by popular demand I actually loved this one last time but they have a new version of the heart case that everyone loves and this is not just the new design this is actually a whole new 2.0 case design no more buttons it's recyclable at home it's compact it's lighter and has less aluminium and they have a new fragrance called rose petals which is sweet and elegant it's got a very floral base and some sweet top notes and it smells amazing these two combined would make a perfect gift not only for yourself but maybe a loved one for valentine's day they kindly gave benji a new black case and you can have your name engraved like he's got if you haven't tried wild already you must give it a go or if you're already using wild and you want to get some new refills or an extra case i have them in my gym bag my travel bags in the car then you can use my code brogan heart it'll get you 20 percent off site wide and is valid for 48 hours so be quick and they ship internationally so if you haven't already tried it now is a good time big thank you to wild for sponsoring the video today i love them and of course this is going straight with my travel toiletries which i haven't done yet before we put the stuff in the suitcase let me flash you back for the last two weeks and let's see how i got on with packing for our world cruise these are the summer clothes that i'm not taking with me and i've got some more under here after trying on all the clothes that's a no i have taken the pillows off the bed and i've pulled the duvet up so that the whole thing is flat so we've got a flat surface to lay everything out this is how I do all of my trips as you can see I've been dumping stuff down the side of the bed here just as and when I know I want it and then I've got some random toiletries over here shoes and then my wedding dress and here is our first bit of organizing I've got some of my dresses so these are day dresses evening jumpsuits midi dresses um, strappy ones this is really hard to appreciate and see you should be able to see all the hangers now these are all of my evening dresses that I like right now it's probably going to be a case of eliminating some but we have black tie and special evenings on board the ship so obviously packing for a cruise holiday is very different to a normal holiday in terms of toiletries this is where we're starting from so I pulled out the first aid kit which is just this one that I use but I think we're going to need to do things slightly differently because we have a lot more medication and stuff to cover us i've even bought some sickness tablets even though neither of us get seasick i just thought it'd be best to have those and i've got things like this which help if you become dehydrated in hot climates i've got plasters but just looking at it laying it out flat i can see where i need more and less of things so this bag i did have originally in the first suitcase but it was too heavy so i had to take a few things out and this was just one of the things i grabbed these are the things that i'm adding into this sort of clear random case that i have i found a small makeup brush cleaner from Superdrug, so i'm going to add that in i'm going to get my nails done on the actual ship but for my toes i'm thinking these sort of colors will be nice and then i assumed that i'm probably going to want to be able to remove my nail varnish so i bought some of these pads so i don't have to take cotton wool and a big bottle of nail varnish remover so i just need to sort out some of this stuff and make a bit of a shopping list of what i need and i'm missing or i'm low on it's the next day and i don't feel like i'm making any progress because there's just so much to think about i have laid out my shoes so i'm just trying to work out what i want in terms of my heels flip-flops smart shoes trainers I need to start on swimwear gym wear underwear t-shirts i put a few out last night but i'm not quite done with those dumped all the swimwear there for a minute i realistically need to try it all on just to see which ones i like and don't like something that i am gonna have to think about is what skincare products i take with me because i love a few different brands obviously i'm using some right now so i can't pack them just yet so i thought i'd do a section at a time so i'm doing hair right now and i have decided to leave my dyson air wrap because i don't think it will work on the ship it has worked on previous ships but this particular ship has got us plugs i basically have decided to take my hair straightener and curling wand this is a remington straightener and a ghd curler and then the next step is to sort out hair brushes shampoo conditioner accessories like i've got all these clips and things just grabbed my rehab hair tape and the hair oils I think these are going to be amazing if my hair is feeling really dry in the sun and the chlorine and stuff I'm working on the first aid kit 
the moment and I saw someone on Instagram cut out the boxes so the bottom of the box so I don't have to take the whole thing which I just thought was genius I normally take them out of the boxes anyway so for example this one actually says what the brand is in the very first word so I know that that's for that we're also going to need earbuds I've popped in loads of like toothpicks nail clippers safety pins there's so much to think about all these tiny things I've been to Boots today and I've bought loads more first aid stuff so I've got some lem sip obviously we've got the sachets but I've got the day and night capsules cotton buds a nail file bongella gaviscon in like a little pot different toothpaste because i've been to the dentist today and she told me to start using sensodyne so switch to that cold sore cream we haven't ever sort of needed a lot of these things but i just thought because we'll wait for so long i want to make sure we've got everything i got a tiny mini pseudocrem here is the before i've never had so many random things going on i also found this today in mns is a clothes freshening mist but what i really liked on the back it says it has crease release technology to reduce wrinkles i thought this could be good after they've been in a suitcase for a long time i can't believe i'm saying this but i've actually <laughs> managed to decant the first aid stuff into an even smaller makeup bag and yes i own a ridiculous amount of makeup bags don't even talk to me about it so i've managed to fit all the sort of loose bits on the top and then all the bulky bits in the bottom i think the next place i'm gonna go is my evening outfit and i think what i'm gonna do is start folding them up and putting them in a packing cube i actually am tempted to put these in a vacuum pack bag because they're quite thick and heavy if they're condensed although do i want to sort of distribute the weight out i've got a lot of dilemmas here because i have evening dresses for black tie evening dresses for just normal nights and evening outfits for when i don't really want to get dressed up but i still need to go and eat something somewhere like the buffet i've just sorted my t-shirts tried them all on i have two disney ones on the bottom and then the rest of them are basically just roxy t-shirts so i have some plain ones crop ones some that have designs on the back some that have design on the front plain white obviously just a mix and match that can go with my navy blue shorts that are from amazon i love these and i have them in cream i have two skirts as well which i can wear and then i have a pair of white linen three-quarter length trousers as i was going through my gym wear i also found my skort that i bought in target last year so i'm going to take that as well and then i'm just trying to decide what gym wear i want so i've got trousers tops and sports bras i've got one cover up which i don't love i'd really like to replace this and get a new one but it's just from matalan like a white shirt and then i'm doing my swimwear so i've got one bikini i really lack bikinis so i'd like to keep an eye out when we're in australia for some nice bikinis but this is from bowden and then i've got quite a lot of all in one so i'm just trying to decide do i want all of them i kind of love them all this one is from next i think this is also from next this was from the white company and then these are exactly the same <laughs> one white and one black from mns i love the little scallop design around the edge it's so nice so one two three four five i know this is going to sound a little mad but like this one is for sunbathing and this one is good for if i want to go and do lengths of the pool like it's a bit more supportive I think the next thing I'm going to do is fold up all those dresses. So I've got some black tie dresses here and I've decided on these sets of shoes. So I've got white heels and gold heels, but I do need some black heels i've got my day dresses i know i haven't dived into all of these specifically for you but most of them are from next or mns or new look and i have a nice mixture of things i've got a couple of jumpsuits i've got quite a few midi dresses i may cut this down day dresses that i think i'm gonna want in new zealand oh yeah this is so random but they have a dvd player in the room and although i can download movies on the ipad and hdmi cable them i have actually just chucked a bunch of dvds in here yeah just in case you want to watch through the tv mini mouse is i've already sent one pair on board but i bought these recently and i just love them because we're going to frozen land in hong kong and then i've started collecting cards so these are um, wedding day and my birthday cards that we can open on board this pouch has got our luggage tags and our lanyard so i've got a piano cruises lanyard and a disney one in there and then i've started organizing gadgets and tech i don't even know where to start with this let's just ignore that for now i haven't counted all the dresses but i definitely have a lot i'm happy and I'm gonna start putting some in the bags. I'm so hot. Let's try and get all of our evening dresses in here. Oh my goodness. Is that ridiculous? Is that completely ridiculous? Oh 
I'm gonna start putting some of these other bits in packing cubes and I've got away suitcase packing cubes. When I'm doing packing cubes, I try and fold everything first. As you can see, I try to fold these quite flat, but then when I found this packing cube, I realized that actually it's better if I fold the t-shirts differently. So I've done it into like thirds, but actually it'll be better if I do that and have them flat inside the packing cube to the width of the actual shape of the cube, if that makes sense. In my hand luggage, I had this sort of thin jumper through the wash was my favorite zip up Hollister hoodie. So I've put that in the hand luggage. I'm just deciding if I want this. So I've got a white zip up jacket, which I just think is perfect. will go with basically every outfit and a zip up is good because if it is chilly up on the promenade deck and I'm going for a walk, I can just chuck this on, zip it up if I'm cold, open it if it's warmer, if that makes sense. This is perfect. This was from M&S. This packing cube has got my gym gear in and I also found a pair of Pilates socks. thought these would be good if I want to do some yoga. I actually might take them out of the packaging. We're getting there. I need to do pyjamas next and you might notice that I'm actually wearing these and I love these. These are my favorite pajamas ever that I got them from Walt Disney World and I bought a second pair and I've been saving them for this trip. How many pairs of Lululemon leggings is too many? Maybe I need two pairs so there's always one in rotation. I don't think I'm going to be wearing leggings that often. I've got some in hand luggage so maybe I'll just take one pair. I'll look at which ones are the least bobbly. <laughs> I forgot that I've got an electric de-bobbler don't know what the official name is and I just tried it on one of my leggings oh my gosh so the crotch area gets very bobbly over time let me show you oh there we go you can see it there in the like you see watch this he bobbles it I have picked these to be the trainers I want to wear if we're going anywhere particularly dirty or muddy I don't mind these are my old gym trainers as you can see they've like worn away at the back so these are only for sort of those muddy times I don't mind if I have to get rid of these basically so clean those off we also bought a little alarm clock so that we can change it to match the different time zones we're in because our phone sometimes will be delayed updating and we just thought it'd be quite handy to have an actual clock in our room. I don't know if we have one to be honest. I haven't quite figured out my bags yet but as you can see I've got a couple of evening ones. These are tote bags. I have another bum bag, this away one which is brilliant but I already have a black version so I don't know if I want this as well. It's so small it folds up into a little tiny square. I've got this little bag which is great for evenings and then I have two rucksacks. This is a long shot one which folds really small as well and then I've got a bigger one which was from Zara. I also have this bag which you would have seen in my hand luggage my Land's End tote bag. This is the large. And I also have a small version too. And maybe this is medium. This is medium, the other one's large. So that's where we're at for today. I still need to do toiletries down there, but I think we're making some progress. So I think I'm gonna leave it here, call it a day and come back again tomorrow. <laughs> I'm doing gadgets next, which is really boring for you, but so important for me because I have so many different pieces of tech and things to charge. What I'm gonna do is just go through it, line everything up, get all the cables wrapped neatly like this or I use gear ties these are amazing for keeping the cables together and here is some of the gadget stuff so we have obviously cameras this is a spare g7x this is my canon m50 portable hard drive so I can back up all the footage normally I only take one on a trip but I've got two they're a terabyte each so I can back up all of the vlogs and stuff different tripods and I've got a big one as well this one I can attach with the GoPro and put it on the balcony in fact I need to just change the adapter and then this one is a phone one here we go so you pull this up and it becomes a full tripod it is amazing i've used it so much random cables for random things so we've got things like the kindle the mini fan i think this one's for the fan yeah look i've tried to label them so i can remember that's my apple watch hdmi cable a light the nintendo switch my ghds our toothbrush a spare phone and a spare case and then this one is obviously for New Zealand because we already packed the big one in the main case accessories for the floaty handle on the chest mount and the charger so I think I'm nearly there with gadgets I just need to find a way to pack this up I did get given this really gorgeous stackers gadget case which I may use okay this is actually kind of perfect my hard drives fit perfectly 
in this section so that's all hard drives and then all these miscellaneous cables can go there there we go that's not too bad could be worse and then i also have a tripod over there from amazon i also got given this from stackers speaking of them that's where the gadget box was from and then i've got some random bags full of all the other stuff i have filled the jewelry case with some necklaces some anklets in the little pouch disney necklace disney earrings black tie earrings that are like dangly yeah I'm happy with that so we can fold this up now got my memory cards in this folder that i found on amazon which is perfect and it's magnetic love that i'm going to chuck in another iphone charger can never have too many of those i also i'm using this pouch i got these also from amazon to store some games as you can see but i've also chucked in some glue scissors and a card reader for one of our banks just in case we have any issues trying to access it because it won't let us transfer money without it sometimes so i've got that i also found my snack bag which is very helpful so chucking that in i've got some biscuits just some home comforts and i also have some thank you gifts and thank you chocolate and stuff for people i feel like we're nearly ready to pack guys which is exciting so last night i was laying in bed thinking of all the things i might have missed so i've packed my big fan i've got the mini one in hand luggage but i've got the big fan i've got an old bikini that i can wear to a mud bath experience that we're doing because we've done one before and i binned the bikini because it absolutely stunk it was horrible then i have a rash vest for when we go to the great barrier reef i didn't know if i'd want to wear that benj and i often have protein shakes i have them for breakfast sometimes and we both are training in the gym and so obviously they're quite good for after we've been at the gym so we bought this it's a brand called form and it's a protein shaker but it's a good one and it's got like a built-in shake thing so i think i'm going to be adding to my toiletries right up until the last minute but i have my wild deodorant body wash and a body spray and a body cream eye cream spot cream cleanser moisturizer lip balm spare contacts nail file tissues my face halo cloths that i love to remove my makeup and then that's what fits in there but i also have this one which i've got my exfoliating mitt a spare tropic skincare cloth i think i've got about three of those across various pouches and then a couple of sun bum spf for when we're in new zealand i've got the cases and i'm using the medium and large from away Away suitcases are the best brand. People will recommend brands like suitcases and stuff and obviously you can spend cheap, you can spend on the high end. This is definitely on the higher end. Something that people don't talk about is that they have a lifetime warranty. So if a wheel falls off or it cracks, they'll replace it for you. So therefore, that's why I think it's worth paying the money for them but not just that they're brilliant cases they fit so much in them another great thing is that they fit inside each other which is absolutely crucial for us on the cruise because we can't have seven suitcases lined up in the cabin so obviously we're going to stack them inside each other point where i just need to zip the cases up and weigh them and see where we're at because they feel pretty heavy and i think we're going to need to distribute the weight obviously between the suitcases i've managed to get a fairly big chunk in like there's only a few random things i'm just trying to decide if the vacuum bags are better or worse with the packing cubes you can sort of like do them as a puzzle piece i'm not sure how i feel about that at the moment <laughs> today we are doing benji's packing which we don't normally show because he usually does it the day before but we need a little bit more planning than just that will do yeah because i need to be able to shimmy some of our stuff around across the cases because right now i can't fit all my stuff in my cases obviously how we pack is we do categories don't we trousers shorts swim shorts casual socks formal socks panties gym light polos yeah, pajamas light comfies like even my lulus that i always wear yeah or like golf polos t-shirt t-shirts my bournemouth shirt disney one yeah sports shirt i'm only taking my bournemouth shirt and i've just bought a england rugby shirt for when the games are on i don't have one but my old one doesn't fit anymore a bunch of white tees that he lives in they're all kind of like surfy brands like timberland vulcan hurley he so has all sorts because they're really light formal shirts and then evening an shirts. array of loud shirts. Some new ones. Some new ones, which I am obsessed with. That's lovely. Yeah. And this, 
That's my favourite one. Just, just, this might be my new, like, yeah, my new favourite show. We'll show it on the vlog. Oh yeah, that one's new. Did we get that? Where did we get that? Oh, we got it in California. Hurley. It's Hurley. 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 Yeah, Hurley. yeah Hurley. in the outlets, Hurley. that's right. I got this from Robert Old where I bought my, where I bought my suit. So that's all your oh. stuff, and then we've got you your black tie stuff. So he's got two outfits there. Your travel outfit, yeah. Your wedding suit is in there, ready to go. We've started sorting out his shoes. So he's traveling in a pair of trainers. So we've got those downstairs. And then these are the ones that we're going to pack. And then his wedding shoes are in that box right now. And then some hand luggage stuff. So you don't actually have an awful lot of stuff, really. Not easy. I mean, I don't have bits, do I? Well, because I've do got all the bits. bits. I've yeah. got all the beach towels, the sun cream, the games, the stuff really that's for stuff. both of us as yeah. well. My mum has just offered to come over and help sort things out because the house is still like chaos. Having my mum to help me get in a good headspace will be very helpful. Both of us have retainers. Oh, Benji has retainers and I have teeth whitening trays. And then cooling towels was another thing I've added in. So I found Benji's blue one, still need to find my pink one. They're basically these towels you get wet and you wring them out and then you can wear them around your neck. Last night I washed my makeup brushes. I'm doing my own makeup on our wedding day and I wanna have all these different brushes options. I'm actually thinking of packing this whole thing like this because this will be so handy for keeping the cabin organized. I'm just starting to pack up some of my makeup. I'm using this bag from Away Luggage, the same people as the suitcases. They just have accessories as well. I've got loads of their bags now. I'm gonna have a makeup bag with backups, like spare mascara and some stuff for the wedding day as well, like a special lipstick. This is Wedding Bells by Charlotte Tilbury. This is all of my makeup. I decluttered it recently. So we know that this is the eyeshadow palette I'm gonna take. If you watched my haul video, this is gonna be my wedding day eyeshadow. So just got to figure out what I want. Ta-da! All my makeup is in there with some random bits going on at the top there. And I've got my backup makeup, spares if I run out. And just like that, Benji's clothes are now in packing cubes. As you can see, once we condense it down, it's not too bad. I've got his shirts in there, his shorts, all his t-shirts, and then trousers, pajamas, socks, and he has one more for his boxes, but we've just ordered some extra pairs. So he has some nice fresh new ones. Some hats, we're currently washing some of his caps. So this is where we're at. Mum and I have put all four of the big cases on the bed, and we're currently trying to distribute the weight because there's loads of space. Space is not the issue, but we both agreed that my hack of doing this like this is actually not very helpful because we can't shape it into the case. So it's taking up too much space. It's like one rock solid item. And this one seems to be expanding for some reason. I've sealed it so many times and it's just not doing it. I take back what I said. <laughs> I eliminated a few dresses and I resealed them into a better shape and I've managed to do the first side. So <laughs> I do have my mum here with me. You're helping, aren't you? <laughs> but yeah, we got the towels in there. So this is the first side. We still have all this side to go and Benji's hand luggage, but we're nearly there. It's not space that's the problem. It's just distributing the weight. Guys, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think we're pretty much done. We obviously still have some final bits floating around, but here are the cases. We've also folded up my wedding dress and Benji's suit. I can't believe we're pretty much packed. I feel really good about it. There's still loads of space. It's just the physical weight of some of the things. And I'm happy that I've distributed it across all four cases they're coming out on average about 20 kilograms per case which is exactly what i needed one of them's 18 and one's 21 for example so you know give or take i think we'll be absolutely fine weight wise benji's hand luggage is still pretty much empty but he still has a few things to go in and i haven't packed his boxes yet and i've got pajamas that i still need to do i don't have a sun hat some of you said that you thought i missed that but i'm gonna buy one when i get to australia or asia because none of the ones that i buy here for my head <laughs> this has been amazing planning everything thinking about what i want and being strategic with how i pack what i pack but obviously we are in a position that we can buy anything we've forgotten or we might need considering it is our wedding day we've got all of our wedding stuff we've got black tie nights benji's got a couple of suits things we wouldn't necessarily pack for other holidays i'm sharing this just a few days before we actually leave so for the next three to four days i'm going to be saying goodbyes to my family and friends i'm going to do all my sort of beauty stuff Stuff, like shave my legs, paint my toenails, all of that. I have some work stuff to wrap up and basically getting the house cleaned and organized and tidied, ready for our house sitter. 
take Bonnie, our dog, to my mum's and do a handover with her and then the handover with the house sitter. So it's a bit busy and a go, go, go. The next video you see will be our travel day. So what it's actually like to fly long haul and have a layover in Dubai flying business class with Emirates. I am absolutely buzzing. So that'll be exciting. And I don't know when I'm going to get that uploaded. Hopefully it will be at some point next week. Keep an eye out for it. Make sure you're subscribed. Big thank you again to Wild for sponsoring today. I'll leave the link and the discount below for you so excited to have the new case right in time I've packed it with my toiletries so I'm very happy about that and thank you for your support and love and kindness across all the content we've shared so far and I'm really excited to share our wedding day and our trip with you and everything we get up to please bear with me with vlogs I'm going to do my best to upload them as and when I can but there'll be no set schedule so just keep an eye out if you got this far then leave a comment below and let me know where your next holiday is thank you love you guys a lot see you again on the other side Big love, bye, bye, bye. <laughs>